Welcome to my channel. I'm Karina, and this is last and sixth episode of the series on how to use MailerLite, the free tool for your business. Today, I'm going to show you how to combine MailerLite, Canva, and Elementor to create a freebie and collect emails for your business. Let's get into it. Step one, we're going to create a form. So the reason we're creating a form first is because this freebie you're giving to people, the aim is for you to collect emails so that you can then stay in touch with them, send them your newsletter, your offers, your best content. So we'll start with the form and we want to create an embedded form. And I'm going to call this one freebie since it concerns the freebie. So we have the name, we have the right type of form. Let's save and continue. So next, I want to create a new group because I want them to be associated with the freebie. So I'm going to click add new group. I'm going to call them freebie and click create. It is automatically selected. I can scroll down and click continue. Now what we have to do is design our form. What we are going to do is first, I don't want just the person's email, I like their name. The reason I ask for the name as well as the email is that I do not want to send anonymous emails. I like to put some personalization on it. For a start, I'm going to hover on their email and click on the little pencil edit. This way I can add the field name automatically. And here I can also choose if I want the label above the input or under. Uh, above it looks like so, which is kind of nice and neat as well. I think it can look nice like that, but I'm going to make some other changes. So now I save. What I want is to actually completely remove this is because actually this is going to be added to a page on my website where I'm going to manually put a title with uh, WordPress, Elementor in WordPress. So I do not need a title there. And here, instead of subscribe, I wanted to say get mine because I want people to be excited about getting their freebie. So now the form looks the way I want in terms of content. Now I would like, aesthetically speaking, to have it look nicer. The background color doesn't matter because it will not be visible once I embed it in WordPress, but the form background color is important. So I'm going to click on it and change it into my brand colors. For the button, I want to change the font, so I'm going to click on the button, font family here, Playfair display, which is it's the font I like, and I'm going to make it bigger. That's as big as it can go. I'm happy to keep the background color black, but the background hover, I want it to be a different color because I want people to notice they are hovering. So I'm going to change this color. I'm going to put it a bit lighter like so. So when you hover, it changes color. This way people notice. Uh, another thing is the radius. I like to put it at five. It gives me, I think, the perfect roundness. But of course, it's your choice. You can also remove it completely if you want a fully square one. So I click save and I am done. So here's a summary of my freebie. I can see it here, but I can also click preview if I want to see it better. Here is the link that I can copy if I want to send directly the form to someone, but it's the simple form, so I don't really recommend you do that. And here you have the group it's associated with, the freebie group. And the very important information is here, the HTML code, which is what you're going to put on your website. And this is going to be the last step. For now, what we need to do is we want to create an automation linked to this. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So you click here on automation and you want to create an automation for your subscribe form. Great. 
So you see the trigger is already there because we are creating it from a form. So you see here, you're going to have the summary of everything as well as here it's going to appear every single steps. So the trigger is here when subscriber, when subscriber completes a form, freebie. And here it gives you the option to allow subscribers to repeat the workflow. I do not encourage it. I'm going to click save because I'm happy with that step. And the next step, we're going to add an email. And this email is going to be the email you send to your subscribers, to the people who completed the form that will give them access to your freebie. Now, if you're not sure how to do that, there is another tutorial that you can see on top of the screen. There is a link to go to see this tutorial when I show you how you can share a freebie from your Google Drive free account. So I encourage you to go check out this tutorial that is completing this one. Now, I'm going to really just uh, quickly show you how to design a simple email with your freebie inside of it. So in the email design, I'm just going to use the rich text editor and make it very simple. Okay, so here it's simple. You put their name and as promised, here's your freebie. You can, you can access and make a copy of it here and you put a link to your Google Drive folder that contains the freebie. Of course, you tell them if you have any questions regarding X, Y, Z, please do not hesitate to reply to this email and I'll gladly assist you. Have a wonderful day. Your name, your company name, your website, your email. And at the, at the bottom, make sure that they know why they received this email. So receive this email because you signed up on our website. As simple as that. So now we click done editing and this step is complete. We can simply click save. And then we can finally put the last step of this workflow, which is an action. And as an action, we're going to select copy to a group. And this is going to be newsletter and you save. So when people receive their freebie, then they're going to be added to your newsletter roster and they are going to start receiving your newsletter. Once everything is done here, we have a complete workflow. We simply tick the box here and your workflow is active. The next step will take place on Canva. The reason it is that you want on your page to have the form, but you also want to have a little image that is going to describe the freebie and encourage people to sign up for it. So we're going to create a design and we're going to choose flyer landscape, which is a good size usually. By default, you already are in the design for templates. What I encourage you to look for is for something called free template, especially if this is what you're going to give the people. And here you're going to have a lot of different designs already that you can choose from. So let's go for this one, special giveaway. This one I like, so I'm going to save and download that one. And in the next step, I'm going to show you how to put it all together on your website page. So here I am on WordPress Elementor. I am going to simply click on the plus sign and add a widget here. And I want it full width. I'm going to add three different elements here that together are going to create the perfect design for a freebie giveaway. First, I'm going to put an inner section because I want things to be split in two. Inside the first right box, I'm going to put an image. And this is going to be the image that I just created. On the right part, I'm going to put first a title, like a heading, and under he the heading, I'm going to put a HTML. This heading should encourage people to actually download your freebie. So you can change the text to something very simple as, then you can make it more or less big, more or less nice. For the HTML part here, we're going to go back to MailerLite and find the HTML code that I showed you earlier. So we are on the overview of the freebie. And again, we scroll down 
and we get the HTML code here. We click copy and then we go back to WordPress. In WordPress, we simply paste the code and the form appears here just like by magic. So if you want to make sure everything is kind of aligned, what I advise you to do is for this image to be a bit more centered in the middle. So the way to do that is you go to advanced padding, you delink the values because you only want the top to move and you want the top to go higher about let's say 70 and that should align nicely but you can also put less if you want it to be more like centered in between. That's your choice. So here it is. You have your WordPress page on the website to encourage people to download your freebie. You have the form here where they can actually sign up for the freebie. And in MailerLite, you have your workflow that is going to grab people's email address send them the access to the freebie and add them to your newsletter. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode as well as the whole series. If you have any comments on today's episode or any of the series, please leave it in the comment section and I'm going to be happy to read it.